How you going guys? Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up custom conversions for Facebook ads. For those that don't know what custom conversions are, custom conversions is how you optimize your Facebook ads to achieve, to achieve a custom objective. So example, your custom objective might be for someone to sign up to your emailing list or to sell a piece of clothing or to get someone to watch a video. And you can set up these custom conversions that train Facebook to know if people are achieving your conversions or not. So in order to have this conversion set up, you need to have Facebook's pixel installed first. And once you've got that, we can set up custom conversions. So today I'm gonna to walk you through step by step how to create your first Facebook custom conversion. Today let's run through how to create a custom conversion for a Facebook ad. Now we're in Facebook Ads Manager here currently and we want to ma navigate to our Event Manager and you can find that by going to the top left hand corner, opening up all the options and going to Event Manager. Now in Event Manager there will be a few options selected or selectable on the left hand side. Data Sources, this is where your pixel will be located. Once it loads, you can see my pixel is set up here. And we have to go down here to click on custom conversions. Now once we're at custom conversions, this is where we set up objectives or goals for people to complete on our website. For, so for today, we're gonna to be setting up this goal of optimizing our ads to download our digital marketing handbook. Now, in order to do this, we want to set the custom conversion up so it tracks the URLs of where our people are at. Keep in mind, you have to have your pixel set up before you do any of this. But once you have your pixel set up, you can then set up custom conversions like this. So, how we're going to set up the conversion is, we will count it as a conversion if the person that has clicked on the ad goes to this link here, and then this link here. And this link here you only get to by clicking download and entering your email address. So if the person who's clicked on my ad's gone to this address and this address, it means they must have downloaded the book and given me their email. So we can count that as a custom conversion. So let's enter that in here. Let's go create custom conversion in the top right hand corner. Here we go. So we're using my pixel here, you can see that, but it's green and we're looking at all URL traffic. So that's all the traffic that's going to my website. And the rule number one, so the rule number one we're gonna set is that the customer or the person clicking on my ad must have gone to this URL here. So we're gonna click URL and we're gonna change this to equals and then put my URL in there, that is this one here. Now we could use contains or doesn't equal and then we could enter in different texts. So we might enter in IPM Media if we entered contains and then all the pages of IPM Media and it would classify as a rule. But for now, we're gonna keep it as equals and put in the first page. And that is essentially the landing page which people are gonna be sent to once they click on the ad. And now we'll add another rule. And you can see it says rule one and also must also match rule two. And we're going to set rule two URLs as equals to the download page after they enter in their email address. And we'll put, copy that and paste that into there. And now you can see we have our landing page and essentially our thank you page for downloading. So now this rule will be activated when Facebook ads see that the person has clicked on the ad, gone to this site here, and also go on to this site here. And that way they know they've downloaded the book and I've got their email as a lead. So now we can name your conversion. We will call it ebook download digital marketing ebook download and a category. For us, we're gonna set as a lead but if you had your conversion set up as like a buying page where you're buying a product, you might set yours up as a purchase, for example. 
And if yours obviously had monetary value to it, like you were selling a $200 pair of sneakers, you would enter the conversion value here. But for us, we're just going to leave it blank because we're not interested in tracking the money side of it because it's very hard to, to figure out the money of it. And we'll click create. Uh, you wouldn't get this, but essentially what this is saying is that I already have a custom conversion that is set up using these URLs already. And that's true because I'm already tracking this. So once you've got your custom conversion, which is this one here for me, it's the digital handbook download page and then the thank you page. Once you've got that, you can create an ad that will be optimized for that campaign or optimized for this conversion. You can do that by going back into ads manager and we can create a new campaign. Now this is a really important thing to do with digital marketing because it allows you to track conversions and track if people are actually doing what you want with your ads. So let's click create new campaign and we'll call it, um, we won't call anything yet, but we want to select conversions over here. Instead of traffic or engagement, we want to select conversions. When you hover over the eye, it means Facebook's going to show our ad most likely to people who are most likely going to sign up and download our website ebook. So we're going to click conversions. And we'll scroll down here and give it a name conversions test. We won't have any of those set. We'll click continue. And now Facebook's optimizing our ad for conversions, which is great. Now, conversion event, for us, we're gonna go down here and select ebook sign up. And there we go. Now, Facebook is optimizing our event, is optimizing our ad and showing people who are most likely to sign up and download our ebook on this page here. And now you can go through and fill out the rest of your ad like you normally would and your targeting. But that's essentially how you set up and optimize your ad for conversions.